Merge or form letters are really easy to do in FileMaker. Just create a layout, type some static text, insert some merge fields, and voila, you have a merge letter. What I want to show you is how to put the power of merge fields in browse mode so the users can create their own letters. Because each time you do one in layout mode, so if we come in here and we create a new layout, choose printer, call it test, and might as well just do computer because there's no choice for merge letter. Form, finish, and we come up here and we'll go in and change the theme to minimal. And then we'll put a text block in there and say, Dear, and then insert a merge field. And we'll probably put name first, right? So we'll put that there, colon. It was great meeting you at the FileMaker Developer Conference. And of course, your letter will probably be longer, but you know something at the end. Happy FileMaking, John Mark Osborne. Right? It's a really simple merge letter, but the power here is that depending on the length of the name here, the colon will move, and in, no matter where the merge field is, the text will move to the size of that merge field. So if we go into browse mode, we'll see as we walk through the records, each person has their own letter now. So really easy to do, the only problem is, you want another letter, you have to make another layout. So the users have to say, we want this letter, here's what we want to do, da 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 da, and then you make the new layout. And then they want another one a couple months later. And I like to empower the user. It takes a little bit more work, but we can move this process into browse mode. So go into layout mode, let's get rid of this layout, we don't need it. And we'll move back to our customers here. And we'll make something called correspondence. Create it. There's our new tab. Come over here. And we're going to need some fields for interface. So I'm going to go into Manage Database. And we're going to use global fields for interface because they don't cause record locking and they're different for each user. So each person can write their own letter whenever they want. So we'll type in X letter and we'll store that as a global and then we'll also need X field. This will be a pop-up menu that allows to us to choose which fields we want to insert. Kind of like think of Microsoft Word. You know, uh, when you're doing a merge letter there, you have a pop-up menu and you choose which fields you want and you insert. It's pretty easy to do. And we get that as a global. Okay, there we go. And then we'll grab our field tool. Right up at the top, right about here, we'll put X field. And we'll relabel that fields. Make it a bit bigger and we'll come into and make a nice pop-up menu here call it fields and we'll do something that's recognizable by the user not our naming conventions and you can do whatever you want here you can put in address one make sure you spell it correctly though as you'll find out later it's very important you don't put extra spaces in here or mess up the case. You want everything to be precise in here in this pop-up menu. That's good enough to show us what's going on to, to demonstrate this concept, but you can put any number of fields you want there. And then we'll put in our letter here, so X letter, and that'll be quite a bit bigger. You get quite wide and quite tall, as tall as we have room for and probably put a vertical scroll bar on it. That looks good, maybe a little bit wider. And now we have the basic interface, all with global fields. What we want to be able to do when we go back into browse mode is be able to pop this up, choose first name or whatever, and then have a button that inserts that as a merge field down here. So we're going to go into Manage Scripts, I'll take this off the menu here. We don't need that anymore. We'll call it 
correspondence add field. And normally I'd use set field to put a calculation result into another field. But in this case, you actually have more advantage with insert calculated result. Now, the reason we've never used insert calculated result is because it requires the field to be on the layout. Well, we know it's going to be here. If you don't have the field on the layout, then you're not going to be able to insert a merge field. It's just not going to be that way. And you'll see that as we program this, it's going to have certain advantages over FileMaker or over set field. So we'll set the field as X letter. And the formula is very simple, quote, less than, less than. They look like chevrons, but they're more cross-platform compatible. And then we'll come in here and put whatever's the next field, concatenate it with greater than, greater than. So this will look a lot like a merge field. People won't be able to tell the difference. And let's try that out. Let's see what happens. We'll save that. Get ourselves a nice little button. I'll borrow this one. And I didn't mean to do that. I thought it was in layout mode. So we'll go back to layout mode. Duplicate that. Oh, those are look like they were grouped together or somehow I selected them both. Yep, let's ungroup them. Just use the keyboard command there. If you're not familiar with that, I forgot. Uh, since I did it so fast, it's right under here, ungroup. And we'll put that right there. We'll get a better icon. Well, actually, uh, yeah, I think we'll probably do a different icon here. Probably a print icon. There we go. Uh, I'm sorry, not a print icon. <laughs> That's I was thinking down the road the rest of the lesson. We actually want to have an insert. And let's put a little plus sign. I think will work well. There we go. And then perform script. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now let's see what the height of this is. So I don't look like the same height. So that's going to be 20 high and this one's only 19. So let's make that also 20 high. I want to match and look nice here. That looks good. And let's see how it works. Go to browse mode. And let's insert that. We can type in deer anywhere we want. Put our colon. Type in some text. Nice meeting you at the FileMaker Developer Conference. Happy FileMaking. And then put an exclamation point there. And fix my spelling there. So here's why we used insert calculated result. Because of this, I can put my cursor there and hit the plus sign, it goes right where I want it. Imagine doing that with set field, because remember, set field replaces everything in the target field. So we could try to use the append technique where we refer to the field that's the target inside the calculation, but then we have to say, okay, well, where's the cursor? It's right here. Let's find everything before and everything afterwards and put it around what we're adding into it, which is the merge field just so much easier to do with insert calculated result. And you'll also notice that if my cursor's there, it goes right where I want it, right? If my cursor's not inside that field, it goes to the end. That's why I chose the field here. If we take a look at manage scripts, notice how I specified the target. I didn't have to specify the target. In fact, I can take that off if I want. And we'll save that, close it, and watch what happens now. If I do it now, it's not going to go anywhere, but the advantage is I could actually insert merge fields anywhere. So I could come here and insert it here if I wanted to. So you have to decide what you want. I decide I'm really only inserting merge fields into one place, so if my cursor's not there, put it at the end. And that's a little more fail-safe because somebody might be going, well, why isn't it working? I'm clicking, it doesn't work. So it just makes it a little bit clearer what's going on. So we'll change it back. Go to target field and specify X letter. And we'll save that. So there's your basic interface for constructing a merge letter. Now we have a few more things to do, such as make it able to print, and that'll require a couple things a print layout as well as, you know, a calculation to merge this name with this first name here, as well as. 
this name with this first name depending on which record you're on. So we have quite a bit to do, but here's the first step, and it's really not that hard. The interface is pretty easy to program.